My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. So, you have decided to give up your Google, Android, or Apple iPhone spy phones and get a shiny new de-Googled Graphene OS privacy phone. Good choice. Welcome. When you're digging a hole, the first thing to do is to stop digging. In this video, I will answer some common questions new Graphene OS users have and give some ideas as to what you can expect when using a Graphene OS phone. This video is brought to you by PrivacyProShop.com where you can find Nemo Mail, the anonymous email over locking it. When you must stay anonymous, Nemo Mail is the way to send anonymous emails. You can also find anonymous VPN by locking it. You can use internet anonymously with locking it exit nodes. We have fast nodes in the US, Canada, and the Netherlands, as well as locking it domain names and session usernames. You can pay with the most common cryptocurrencies anonymously and we also accept credit cards first what about your existing phone number well you can simply put your old sim card in the new graphene os phone and keep your old phone number that's it easy and simple or if you wish for more privacy you could get a new sim card and a phone number from the same or different carrier however if you wish to go deeper into the privacy rabbit hole you could do something like this. Number one, subscribe to a new prepaid phone service like Boost Mobile or Mint Mobile that doesn't verify your identity. Number two, never use that new phone number to make phone calls or send SMS text messages. Number three, take out the old SIM card when you're a few miles from your home so that the number can't be traced to your residence. You'd have to do this every time you go out. Number four, use encrypted services like Signal or Session Messenger to do your important communications. Number five, for those times that you must use the public telephone network, you can move your existing phone number to a VoIP service and configure a VoIP app to receive and make calls and texts using that old number. You get the idea. You can simply just pop your old SIM card in the new phone or if you wish to get even more privacy, you can take additional steps. What can you expect with the Graphene OS device? Well, you no longer have to lower your voice as Siri and Google Now no longer listen to everything you say. Remember the old joke. My son asked me why I speak so softly in the house. I said I was afraid of the NSA listening. He laughed. I laughed. Siri laughed. When you put your phone in airplane mode, it actually shuts down all wireless, unlike stock Android and iPhone. Who would have thunk? Battery life with Graphene OS is generally better than stock Android, but it depends on the apps you run. Apps on Graphene OS require to be run continuously in order to be able to receive notifications, as Google's Firebase notification service is not available in Graphene OS. If you have lots of apps running in the background, it chews through battery more quickly. Graphene OS operates slower than the stock Android. And if you come from a super fast late model iPhone, you realize how blazingly fast the iPhone really is. I'm guessing the reason for Graphene OS slowness has to do with the lack of optimized code that takes advantage of hardware features. This is not to say that Graphene OS is intolerably slow. It's not. Graphene OS is fine, just not a fire breather. Graphene OS keyboard app is not very good. It's a small thing, but noticeable. You make a lot more typos with the Graphene OS keyboard. Also, if you need other languages besides English or a few major other ones, spelling correction is not available. That slows you down further. You can install other keyboards, but the ones that I've tried have been worse than the stock Graphene OS keyboard. In order to install apps, you first have to install an app store. Graphene OS doesn't come with Google Play Store or any other app store. You have to download and install the app store yourself. App installation for most commercial apps happens via Aurora Store, 
which is an anonymous Google Play Store front end. The problem often is that Google rate limits the number of users per account that, our, that Aurora Store uses. So sometimes you may have to try many times before you can install an app. When Graphene OS was less popular, this wasn't an issue. But now with the popularity, you end up getting the this account is rate limited message fairly regularly. You could, of course, log in using your own Google account with Aurora Store. But that kind of defeats the purpose of a de-Googled privacy phone. And according to the Aurora Store FAQ, it is against Google Terms of Service and could get your Google account banned and blocked forever by Google. If you have apps that you have purchased, you will most likely bid farewell to them. Adios, sayonara. Open source app stores like F-Droid work well, but are limited in the number and quality of apps. Also, the vetting of apps and security of many of those apps is unknown. While they're open source, who checked them for what they do? Anyone? While it is unlikely that an app could take over the phone, it is certainly possible that a random Bitcoin wallet in F-Droid could steal your cryptocurrency. Be careful. You have to install lots of apps if you wish to go beyond web browsing, sending texts, or taking pictures. Graphene OS is truly minimalistic. It doesn't even have an email app. It gives you the control of what's on your phone. That is great from a privacy perspective, but can be frustrating for those who are used to things just working. Lifelong iPhone users seem to have the hardest time adjusting to Graphene OS minimalism, and a large portion of them go back to their spy phones, where you can give all your cares to Apple, and they will cuddle you to sleep while controlling every aspect of your life. Many apps in Aurora Store that require Google services will not work unless you install Google services in your phone using the sandbox that Graphene OS provides. Some people, myself included, don't want to install Google software on our phones, so we have to give up on several apps. Different navigation experience. You will need to install a navigation app and configure it to give voice directions by installing a voice synthesizer app. Quality of the mapping apps varies widely, from very basic open source ones to excellent commercial ones. I have made a video where I cover the navigation app I use along with other useful apps. Link is in the description below. Graphene OS camera is slow and has only basic features. You will realize that much of the magic of the much praised Pixel camera is software wizardry by Google's highly paid programmers. Weather apps are very limited and antiquated feeling compared to the smooth and polished apps offered on Google Android and Apple iPhones. They work, but not automatically. You have to get a key code from Open Weather Maps to be able to show weather on your phone home screen. I have a video on how to do it. The link is in the description below. Want to listen to music or podcasts or audiobooks on your phone? You guessed it. You'll need to install an app for that. If you want cloud storage or other cloud services similar to Google Drive or Apple iCloud, you'll need to install them and configure them. There is nothing pre-configured. There are privacy-conscious storage services available for reasonable prices. I discuss one of them in one of the videos. See the link below. So, pretty much everything that modern smartphones have has to be installed separately on Graphene OS. It will take time and patience to learn it, but the privacy you gain is well worth it. What if you don't have the time and patience, but have money? You can hire Privacy Pro Shop to help you with all of it. We can install Graphene OS for you, install apps, and troubleshoot problems that you may have with it for a flat fee subscription. Most of the work can be done remotely. If you're interested in this service, our contact information is in the description below. And that's all she wrote. What are your experiences with Graphene OS? Feel free to comment below or send me a message using Session Messenger. My username is Privacy Pro Shop. If you're interested in digital privacy, 
Graphene OS, Session Messenger, LokiNet, cryptocurrencies, and other open source tech. Please check out some of the other videos on this channel. And have a happy day.